good morning good afternoon good evening guys wherever you are on this beautiful world whenever you're watching this video welcome to the bitcoin family channel for the newcomers my name is didi walking and talking here in sierra nevada spain it's really cold it's really windy hopefully the wind doesn't influence the sound too much i'm working with a dji mic so that should be working in today's video five amazing bitcoin charts that will show you exactly where we are at the moment in the cycle short term and long term of course a trading tip a travel tip some live advice and talking about the news as sam bankman got sentenced 25 years into prison and yes there is some huge news about amazon prime as well now let's quickly jump into the first charts to show you exactly what i see happening to bitcoin this weekend This first chart for the day, guys, is of course not a chart. It's a tweet I did yesterday about that we were very proud um, that we have the Dutch trader of Prime Video going live. You can see it over here. Go to my X account or my Instagram and you will see the trailer. I hope you really enjoyed it. It was already viewed 111,000 times. So that's amazing, guys. Now let's jump into the chart. The chart over here is, of course, a four hour chart. And why do I always use a four hour chart? Because it's just a chart for me that tells me exactly what is happening, like in a short shorter term base. I don't want to zoom out too much to a daily. I don't want to zoom on too much to a 15. I just want to see the bigger picture in like a four hour chart that's showing me how we are moving with Bitcoin. And we saw that inverse head and shoulders. We are all waiting, of course, with a beautiful now run all the way up to um, that uh, 77k level over here, which I still expect. How many days it will take, we never know. But we can see that we are now here at the moment consolidating here around this level here. And this is that volume that's being created over over there now. Now, the more we stay here sideways, the stronger this area will be. And the more likable it will be that we go up to these levels and come down to retest these levels before we move again up. That is how Bitcoin normally, mo normally moves in the short term. Now, if we want to look at the bigger picture of Bitcoin, that is way more important for me, then we are need to look at these charts. To start with this one over here, the Bitcoin price history. Now, to educate you a little bit, I want to educate you the difference between log scale and the linear scale. Log scale is a scale we normally are focused on to show, hey, we had an all-time high, another all-time high, another all-time high, and another all-time high beautifully in a curved way, growing slowly higher and higher and higher. So the log scale on the left side is times 10. $1, $10, $100, $1,000, $10,000, $100,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,
and that is better explained with this chart. And on this chart, you can see exactly how the last cycles have been played out. For example, over here, the top 20K to the top 70K, that was the bull market of 2021, that was times 3.5. The times before that, times 17. Top to top, 26. Now, if you look from the bottom, 3,000 in the bear market 2018-19, to the bottom here, that's times 5. So now, from this top, 70k to the next stop, what will it be? Will it be times 2? 140k because 3.5, a little bit less times 2, that will be 140k. Will this bottom of now look 3k to 15k, so that's times 5, now go times 2 as well? Meaning, does it mean that then the bottom will be higher than 30k, the next bottom? Yes, I believe this. So yes, my targets are still in line. I believe 140k per Bitcoin should be easy, re easy reachable. And I think that the next bottom of the bear market will never go down below 30k again. So we are in a very beautiful period for Bitcoin. We will never see a price below 30k and we will go above 100k. These are amazing times. And I think for me, this chart is the most clear chart over here that will show you exactly what will happen in the next 12 to 17 months. Because look where we are and then compare it to that other cycle. Over here, the green line, that's the 2016 one. That's where we had a small dip. And then after the dip, we came back to the same level. Over here, the 2021, there was not a small dip. We just continued from this moment higher and higher. Here now, we had already that small dip and we could continue higher all the way till the end, till that halving. And that is now exactly what I want to show you. You need to understand that this line over here, look, this line is going to continue probably somewhere like this until that halving moment. At that moment, when we uh, reach that halving on the 20th of April, then here a new line will start. And what do you think that that line will do? Do you think this line will go like this, if you look at the previous lines? Or do you think that this line will go up, 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 maybe even above 100k, maybe even here to 200k, and then come down again, something like this, into the bear market, and then go sideways again, and slowly move up again into this, or something, something like that. That is what the next line is going to look, and that line is going to start on April, 20th of this year, around 20 days when the halving is over, that is when that new line will start. That line will go up, guys. It won't go down. It won't go down. It will go up. It will go up. So the Bitcoin price of 70k is by far the end of this bull market top. I hope you really enjoyed those charts, guys. Short term, yes, we can see volatility. Still, my short term target is 77K. It's still the target of the inverse head and shoulders. We will reach it. We can go sideways a little bit. And this weekend will probably be a very volatile weekend because today, $9 billion worth of options are going to expire. That's like around 140,000 Bitcoins options that's going to expire today on Friday. Let's see if that will make sure that we... Let's see if that will create volatility. 50% chance there will be volatility and the other 50 is non-volatility as we have seen in the past but the options expiry today will mostly influence the market hopefully to the upside let's see what's going to happen guys really cold really windy sorry for that sound i will uh, cover my mic a little bit look wow this is look at the trees guys it's starting to storm over here a little bit and uh, that's why i've been filming the last couple of days inside but i want to be outside in Bitcoin, it's always important to zoom out. Look at that bigger picture. Short-term volatility is beautiful. The options expiring can influence the market. Spot ETS can influence the market. All of it is true. But the four-year cycle is telling us that the top of this bull market will be in in 2025. And then we can see a 100K in 2024. I still predict that in 2025, we will see a higher top. Simple as that. Zoom out. Look at the bigger picture. Stop crying. Start buying. The trading tip for the day is about staking. I am only personally staking in the bull market. I never stake in the bear market. Why not? Because in the bear market, there's always companies and projects that are just not 
succeeding and probably going bankrupt. In the bull market, everything is always fine. So in the bull market, I will stick. I will stick from the beginning till the bull market, till the end of the bull market. But then when the bear market starts, I will just withdraw all my currencies into stable coins, into my wallets, guys, because I just don't want to stick. I don't want to have the risk of a third party going bankrupt and I'm losing all my stakers. Just look at Celsius. Just look at all those companies that went bankrupt in the bear market. I don't trust these companies in the bear market because you never know if they have enough liquidity to survive a 12-month bear market. Staking, I will only do in the bull market. So that's my trading tip for today. Stake in the bull market, huddle in the bear market. Windy as fuck, guys. Um, the travel tip for today, guys. Yes, it's still very windy. The travel tip for today has to do with skiing. If you book an apartment on a hotel, make sure you book one where there is a shop inside of the hotel or apartment complex that does the rental of your ski equipment. Because if you don't do that, the first day will be a big hassle of loading out your baggage, luggage into your apartment, going to search for a shop to rent all your ski equipment, transporting that ski equipment again to your apartment, etc. So always make sure if you book a ski holiday that you book an apartment or a hotel that has a rental shop beneath it so you can directly exit the rental of your equipment your skis and your shoes that's only of course if you don't own them yourself if you own them yourself it's all not a problem if you're searching for a beautiful place here in sierra nevada i would recommend this one over here this one is called maribel it has maribel and it has a lodge over there the lodge is the most luxury one that has like beautiful jacuzzis on the balcony and everything but they have a rental shop incubated into the hotel so you don't need to travel too far to rent your skis to put on your skis to jump into the piece because they are both situated on the ski piece in sierra nevada el lodge and maribel that's where you should be staying in sierra nevada Then there was a question of one of the followers, guys. The question was, Didi, are you also using Monero, XMR? For all those people that don't know Monero coin, uh, this one has a market cap of 2.5 billion US dollar. I think it's somewhere around uh, place number 50 on coin market cap. Uh, it has a price of 135 US dollar. It has been there for a long time. It's a trustable project. Why is it so popular? Because it maintains its privacy. It doesn't show any transaction history. So all the transactions being done on the Monero blockchain are not shown anywhere in history. So you can't track the Monero transactions and that's really good for the privacy of a token. So if I would send Monero, 10 Monero to you now, like 1350 US dollar, nobody would be able to see the transaction history. So that makes it completely private. All the transactions are private. The disadvantage is that most transactions take about two minutes. So you can't use it as a peer-to-peer -peer cash in a store or at Bam Bam Beach. That's why we use Lightning Network of Bitcoin because then the transactions are shown directly. So I can see, hey, that guy directly paid a can of Coke or beer or Bacardi Coke, whatever he's drinking at the bar. Uh, that's why we use Lightning transactions of Bitcoin over there. I need to look out because it's very slippery. The Monero doesn't show that transaction history. So it's a little bit slower. But again, it's really nice to use it for your privacy. So yes, I have been using and investing in Monero already since the beginning I am in this industry and I will always keep investing and using Monero because of its privacy features. I love privacy when it comes to my finance. I don't want everyone to understand and see all the transactions. For example, if I use my Ethereum transaction, an Ethereum wallet, you go to Etherscan, bam, and you see all the transactions related to that wallet. Same for Bitcoin. You can see this on the scan. You can see this on the Bitcoin. Scan. You can see all the transactions that are being done with that wallet. In Monero, impossible. And that is why it's a privacy coin. Now, let's jump into the next part. The sun is finally rising above the mountain. I don't know if you can see it. Maybe I can lift the camera a little bit. You can see over there. There the sun is coming, guys. So now it's warming up again. My hands are getting a little bit warm. I need to do it like this, guys. Uh, the news for today, guys, of course, is about our Amazon Prime series. We are going to go have a series on Amazon Prime. I tweeted the official trailer yesterday uh, on X. You can see it also on Instagram. That's a 4K version. I hope you really enjoyed the trailer. The whole series is four episodes, season one. We are talking already about season two and three, but season one is now finished and it's going to launch on Amazon Prime 
the Benelux on the 5th of April. The 5th of April because that's the birthday of Satoshi Nakamoto as far as we know, of course, guys. Uh, we know over the shore, but that's assumed that the 5th of April is that date. That's why I chose that date just before the halving on his birthday going live on Amazon Prime. And do you know who's going to get an Amazon Prime or a Netflix series very soon as well? I think, I think Sam Bankman Freud because this guy was now sentenced to 25 year prison for the FTX collapse. And yes, of course he deserves prison because he deceived a lot of people, but I still think he was not the person behind that whole scheme. I think it was the US government. I think Sam and all those employees, no, they were not smart enough to pull this off, guys. You, you all seen the interviews with those people. They are not smart. They are just IT nerds that were used as a frontman by the government. They were pumping money into their asses. Here, build an exchange, FTX, and then let, let's call collapse it in the end like this Trojan horse to disrupt the cryptocurrency industry. I think that was the plan of the government. They didn't succeed. So then, okay, they were like, okay, but you did something really bad. When Sam was giving them millions and billions of dollars to support their presidential election runs and all that stuff, that was the moment they were all happy. You know, why well, he's giving us a shitload of money. The money that you already gave him to the backdoor guys. And then he was giving that back to the government to support all, the, all those political parties. But then, when the shit hits the fan, you know, when the plan hits the fan, you know, disrupting the, disrupting the cryptocurrency industry by collapsing FTX, uh, then again, they disappear and they're like, oh, this guy is the wrong guy, 25 year sentence. They were asking 40 to 50 years. He only received 25 years, so that's still okay. But if you compare this to Ross Ulbricht, for example, this guy created a website. He just created a website for people to buy and sell goods and use also Bitcoin to do that. And for creating that website, you all know which website I'm referring to, he got life sentence, double life sentence plus 40 years. Russ Ulbricht is already in jail since he was 29 and he is now 40 years, guys, for creating a website. Double life sentence plus 40 years. And then Sam Bankman, who's scamming millions of people of billions of dollars, lying in court and all of that stuff, he only gets 25 years. So there's a disbalance in this system, if you ask me. I don't understand why a guy that created a website can get like life sentence that doesn't even sell anything himself. He just made it possible for people to sell to each other and use Bitcoin. Life sentence and a guy that scams people for millions and billions and lied in court only 25 years. Please try to explain me that. But that's probably why they will also get a Amazon or a Netflix series in the future, just like we, the Bitcoin family has. We did it. We are going to go live on the 5th of April on Amazon Prime. I hope you enjoyed the trailer. If you didn't see the trailer yet, please go to my X. I can't upload it to YouTube. That's against my contract. But X, Instagram, you can watch it over there. Now that the sun starts to shine, guys, uh, I need to think about Bob Marley. The sun is shining, the weather is hot, you know? Uh, maybe you use a quote of Bob Marley. A quote of Bob Marley that I always love this. Open your eyes, look within. Are you satisfied with the life that you're living? And that's exactly the quote that I really love to share with you guys now. Yes, Bob Marley, one of my heroes when it comes to music and freedom, he has a shitload of beautiful quotes. And this quote, open your eyes, just open your eyes, look within. Are you satisfied with the life you're living? Is the quote that will make you grab life by the balls. Because if you look inside, not to the outside, not to what you have, not to the houses, the cars, and all the other luxury clothes and everything that you own, if you don't look at that, but if you look inside, if you look into the mirror, deep into your own eyes, are you then really happy with the life that you're living? Or would you rather not have all that materialistic stuff and be free, completely free, travel around the world, show the world to your kids and educate your kids in a different way. That is the question that we ask ourselves at that moment when we went all into Bitcoin. We started to look inside. Were we happy with the life we were living? Definitely not. We were happy with all the materialistic stuff we had to show off to our friends, but we were not happy internally. We were eating ourselves up. We were just like not feeling completely happy. We only felt happy when we bought new stuff and again a new car and again new clothes and again new toys and again new goodie and again new this. That is when I thought I felt happy. I made myself happy by buying stuff, materialistic lifestyle. But inside, no happiness at all. Inside still was recovering from the death of my mother, from the death of my father, still feeling pain inside. Never gave that pain 
a place in my life because I just replaced that pain with working, earning money and spending it on stupid stuff. That is how I tried to attack the inside pain. When I really opened my eyes after the death of my father and started to really look inside, if I was really happy with this life that I was living, the answer was no not happy at all. And that is why I changed life. That is why we started to grab life by the balls. That's why we told life, fuck off. We are gonna live the life that we love and love the life that we live. We are not gonna live the life that the government wants. We are not gonna live the life that the school wants. We are not gonna live the life that all our friends want. And we are definitely not gonna live the life that, that all the family that we grew up with wants. We are not gonna live that boxed life that was presented to us by the governments and the schools and the parents that would be the normal life. We are not gonna live that life. We are gonna say fuck you to that life and we're gonna grab life by the balls and we're gonna start a new life that we really love. And that is when we started to travel. And that was the life we love to live. And at that moment, everything changed. At that moment, we got connected to this universal energy, whatever you call it, and all the steps fell into their place. Everything started happening. Up till today that I'm here now, freezing my hands off, in the beautiful Sierra Nevada, talking to you in YouTube. Three years ago, I didn't even think about being a YouTuber. Everything was presented. And I just accepted all those challenges, all those things that came into my past. I said, yes, because we changed life and we told each other, let's say yes to all these adventures. Not, let's stop saying no to everything. Let's start saying yes and embracing life like life's presented to us. And since then, things changed. So for me, it's very important that quote of Bob Marley, open your eyes, look within. Are you really happy with the life that you're living? answer that question for yourself this weekend uh, that was everything for today i hope you really enjoyed today's video if you did enjoy the video give it a thumbs up share it with your friends and family subscribe to the channel hit the notification bell and leave a comment what do you think about the charts what do you think about the tips what do you think about the last quote and yes i wish you an amazing friday evening of course also an amazing weekend it's easter weekend so i'm going to wish you amazing easter holiday if you're celebrating that of course we always eat a shitload of chocolate and good dinners uh, i am not going to make any live videos this weekend because it's a very busy weekend with photo shoots and everything for the series but also uh, very busy because we are going to celebrate easter uh, privately with the family guys so i wish you amazing days and see you probably Monday again and I will try, I will try, I will do my ultimate best to create and push the video live Monday morning at 7.30. Thanks for watching, wish you an amazing day and see you tomorrow.